really brilliant German philosopher once said that technology is not what we seek, but how we seek. And that was 50 years ago. And now it's so true that sometimes we're looking at technology as if technology is the purpose of something that we're doing. Huh? But technology is a tool. Well, when the tool becomes the purpose and then it becomes overly powerful, right, it becomes toxic. So basically what is happening is that we, we have to look at technology and say, well, this is the way that we find things, but we still, you know, what we want to find as humans is happiness, right? It's really quite simple. Happiness, flourishing, contentment, you know, those kind of universal things. And technology can help us find contentment and happiness, but it is not that it is happiness or contentment. That's completely different. So if I get liked on Facebook, makes it makes you happy for about two and a half seconds, right? That's not the same than having a friendship and a relationship in your life. Right? That's not what technology does. Technology is a is a multiplier, a catalyst, right? And it's a tool. But if we take the tool and we put it inside of us, right? like with a brain implant or genetic engineering, which is a big debate about this, then we essentially change the very nature of who we are. And we're, and we're trying to bypass a human process of doing things with a machine process. So rather than actually solving a problem, we invent an app and then we talk about the problem. Or rather than building a relationship, we talk to our screens and, and we have fake friends. And, and that's only the beginning because technology is now so tempting, so powerful, so cheap, and it will only get better and better and better. So then we have to remind ourselves, is this really, are we going to be in love with a robot because it's more convenient? And it's very important to remember that the technology is not the purpose and it's the, it's the way that we get to the purpose. Mm -hmm.